This is the best SNES NES Classic clone I have ever seen to date. Check this one out. We, here we are. This is the DMC SNES version 3. Uh, the reason it's version 3 is Mad Little Pixel made a version 1, version 2. So this is a version 3. Just right off the bat, good news for you Pi Zero fans. This is a Pi Zero image. So all these systems work on the Pi Zero. So really cheap, inexpensive gaming right here. You're talking a $5 investment instead of a $35 investment on that Pi. So, you know, between a 16 gigabyte SD card and a, a cheap SNES controller, you could be up and running with a case and everything for way under 50 bucks right here. So this would be a competitor to the SNES Classic in that it's actually cheaper and you get all the games. So Mad Little Pixel already did a really good job. I'll show you how to, how to turn off the music. I turned it off for this review just so you can hear what I'm saying. And uh, it is on a recent version of RetroPie. It's a beautiful image, and it's all based off of the SNES and NES Classic. But what's been added to it is Family Computer Disk System, as well as Famicom, as well as the Super Famicom. So that's all here. So you got 341 here, and um, you get the video snaps too. Look at that. So this is not only the box art or the JPEG or the screenshot, but it's also videos, which is really cool, all fitting on a 16 gig. So you got 341 here, you got 149 here, again, you got all three, and boom. Box art, logo, screenshot, video. Okay, you got your NES 789. Tells you what year it was made. Video snaps, beautiful. Super Famicom 495. Beautiful stuff, again with the video snaps. Super Nintendo, all 786. Let's just see if there's Star Fox 2, there should be, for those of you that want the full SNES classic experience. You get the same sound like you get on a SNES, NES classic. I mean, this is as close as it gets, Star Fox 2, boom. Nice, 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 nice. And then you have uh, uh, the the, the NES Classic Edition for the other markets, 30 games, the original 30 that were included, all set up, ready to go. Then you have the NES Classic Edition, the original 30 that are included there. So there you go, this is the NES Classic right here. And then you have the Super Famicom, 21 games, just like the Super Nintendo, 21 games. It even has the years they are made, right? 2016, 2017, right? We're getting old games new again. <laughs> and then you have the originals. So from 91 to 2017. From 985 to 2016. What is that? 31 years later. Whew. Wow. Where this jump is uh, a little less. So what is that? Nine years gets to 2009 plus 17 is 26 years. 26 years between those releases. So all games, this is rocking a 2560. You can add games to your favorites list from Famicom, Super Nintendo, you can mix and match here. And then last played, it's gonna, you know, if you reboot your Pi, you wanna go back, and what was I playing last time I was on my Pi? It'll be right here listed, tell you what system, what's going on. So it does come with background music, it has the sound effects, it's rocking the new Ruckage SNES classic theme. It has the video snaps, which is beautiful. So as far as if, if a friend of mine was like, yeah, you know, I couldn't get an SNES Classic, there would be no hesitation that I would give him this image right here. A couple extra things about this that's really nice that he added on to it is um, he did do all the scrapers. He told you where the artwork and video snaps can be found. I'll copy and paste all this information in the description. Tells you where the music folder is. He also added some additional scripts for like fan speed and stuff like that. Sounds like this guy really knows what he's doing. There's also some additional shortcuts installed as well. Um, what do you have here? Okay, just your basic stuff here. Uh, let's just go ahead and check the um, what version it's on really quick, and we'll also see how much extra space we have. So RetroPrice setup, 4.3, that's good enough. So you will have uh, video screen savers, as well as you can load different themes as well. Um, you can still search by letter as well. And then let's just go into the file manager really quick. 
just see how much space. I, I do have this on a 32 gigabyte. It's a 16 gigabyte image. You have an extra gig left. But see how I only have 14 gigs left? What I would do is it, since it's on a 32, if I wanted to add more to it, like I just wanted to drop a couple PlayStation games or something like that, you just want to go to Raspi Config over here and you want to just expand the file system. So remember it was on 14 gigs before. Just go to Advanced Options, Select, Expand File System, Select. It's expanding it. Okay. And then let's go Finish. Would you like to reboot? Yes. So we just restarted and as you can see now on a 32 gigabyte SD card, I have over 54% left over. I have an additional 16 gigabytes, which is a lot of space. You can do a lot with that. So you can expand the file system, any size card that you wish. As far as the games are concerned, let's go into, uh, I've been in an F-Zero mood lately. Just an easy game to get in, a classic, comes with the SNES classic. So you go, you do get a uh, boot up, a loading screen and you get the uh, bezels as well. And no no shaders pre-installed, which is great. I think people prefer no shaders. And if you wanna add a shader, you just wanna hit select an X, go into Retro Arc, and you should be good to go. There we go, launched on you guys. Get out of my kitchen. So as Mad Little Pixel told me, the correct term is rubber banding. This game is a rubber banding game. So you can never get too far away from your competition. You are kind of stuck on them for a little while, which could be good or bad. I mean, it definitely makes for a more challenging game. Whew. You saw that? All right, let's start select out. And there you go. All right, so I did want to see which kind of splash screens were on here. So you have a mixture of videos and JPEG, so let's just check out the photos really quick. So here we go. You got that one, you got the games included. You got the SNES Classic. You have just a straight up video, really quick, RetroPie. So that's Ruckages. A lot of people were asking where to get that. Ruckage looks like Ruckage made that. And uh, did we look at all of them? Oh, we got the game list, we got the box, and we got the controller. Okay, and then as far as videos, we saw the Ruckage run. And then lastly, SNES MLP. So you got this one, which is the places MLP will go. So it looks like DMC left this work for MLP, which is cool. He didn't like add his own. That's a lot of screenshots. Seems like there's some repeats though. Yeah, it's just repeating. It's a little loop. A little loop-de-loo. So in case you're wondering, that's that. Also, if you want to add different music, you would just go into ROMs, go over to music, and uh, you could just drag and drop MP3 files here. And I already deleted the SNES Classic, but the SNES Classic files will be here. I just deleted them for this video, but you can add them back in or anything like that very easily. So as you heard, this does have the SNES Classic audio on there. What you want to do is go to RetroPie Setup, go to um, your file manager, go down to RetroPie ROMs, and then there should be a music folder within ROMs, and you can delete it this way, or you can delete it on the by connecting to your Pi or SSHing into it. You just got to delete these files, and then go ahead and exit, and then restart your Pi to have no sound. I'm going to have to give this one an A+. There's nothing wrong with this. I literally cannot find anything wrong with it. I have nothing else I would add to it. I think as it's pure, it is what it is. It's exactly what the community wants, which is an identical, you know, uh, thing to the SNES, NES classic, all put into one. And it works with the Raspberry Pi Zero and the Raspberry Pi Two. Really great. Something about that though is if you do boot this up in a Raspberry Pi Three, you may not be able to boot it up back in a Raspberry Pi Zero. So when you write an image, just make sure that you're not swapping between Raspberry Pi 3s and zeros. But once you boot up in that zero, it should work in any zero. Um, it, gorgeous, gorgeous. Ruckage made a beautiful theme. Uh, identical music, identical sounds to the SNES Classic. You get search functions, you get screen savers, you get rewind, you can save your state. I mean, what else are you missing here? I don't see it. I'm just, it's, it's all here. 
So with that, I'm not even spending more time on it. That's it. I love it. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.